As Jews celebrate Hanukkah, there's a public art project sponsored by the Jewish Community Center in Manhattan that is looking to make the world a brighter place during the Festival of Lights. New York One's Stephanie Simon joins us now. She's on the Upper West Side with more on that. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kristen. Good morning. And that's right. Tonight is the fourth night of Hanukkah. Now, that's a lot of candles being lit. It is going to be very bright here and around the world, but it can be even brighter as more and more people participate in this great social media campaign. It's also an interactive art project. It's called Hashtag Plus Light, and it's the brainchild of artist Toby Kahn, and he joins us this morning here at the JCC. Toby, thanks for being with us, and tell us about the project. The project was a way for people to add more light to the world. Um, the winter is the darkest time of the world, and the way the world is going right now, there's a lot of darkness. And I thought it was a way to, um, you know, bring more light to the world. And when you think of Hanukkah, Hanukkah is the festival of lights, and I wanted people to be able to take pictures. In fact, not only one picture a day; you could take ten or even fifty, and take as many pictures as you want. Every time you see light in the world take a picture and put it up on social media. That's the, that's the goal. So you could take a picture of really anything. It, it could be a menorah, it could be Christmas lights, and you put the hashtag plus light, hashtag plus light, and, and, and post it. And um, where are you getting images from? Where are you seeing the posts from? Well, what's most exciting is because of social media, somebody puts it on their Facebook page, and they have a friend in Australia, and the next day I see five from Australia. I'll be going to Panama this winter, and I told some people in Panama about it. We've been getting dozens from Panama. and all over the world. Uh, we just I just saw quite a few from Israel, so it's really exciting to see how diverse and, and the photographs are so different because you see wherever the people are. It's exciting. All right, Toby, it is very exciting. As you mentioned, it's global. And another way that it's global is that the more people who post, there will be more light in the world. And that is thanks to Empower. Uh, Scott Kling, the president of Empowered, is here to tell us about that. For every 50 posts, what's going to happen? Uh, we're going to donate a Lucy Light to the uh, family in the developing world that needs light. There are over three billion people that don't have the luxury of turning on a light switch and our Lucy lanterns are solar powered so it's off-grid solution. So in both develop and developing world these are a great great way to get Toby's vision off the ground in terms of sharing light and that's what we do as a company. I love them also because they're really beautiful and to me this is a real work of art also. How, I mean how does this uh, fill up? Well, uh, it's an inflatable solar lantern, so it's waterproof. It's you can, it's very durable. You can bounce it. I mean, it's it's totally durable. I mean, a, a regular flashlight can't do that. <laughs> so, um, on top of that, there's a, one switch, and you can change colors. This is Lucy Aura. There are other ones for camping that are bright light, white light. All right. Thank you so much, Scott. It is beautiful, and apparently it is bounceable. Um, it's a great project. It's hashtag plus light. Take a picture, post it, and, and add some light to the world. Kristen, that is the latest. Back to you. All right. What a great concept. Thanks so much, Steph.